Okay, now we have a question, um, question number six from the specimen paper, P1, question about straight line graphs. Um, we're told about three points, P, Q, and R, which form the vertices of a triangle P, Q, R, as shown in the figure. The point M is a midpoint of Q, R. The line L passes through M, so there's a line L which passes through M and is parallel to PR. Okay, so there's a line L, which I'm going to draw now, which is parallel to PR. So if I draw this line going through PR like this, okay, so that's parallel to PR, but it passes through M. That's like a diagram showing the line L. Okay, it's parallel to PR, but passes through M. So this is line 1. Call this line one. Get rid of that. Okay. Um, now, we're asked to find the equation for the line. Actually, it's not called L1, it's just called L. It's just called L. So we've got to find an equation for the line L, um, writing your answer in the form AX plus BY plus C equals zero. So we need to know two things about a line to find its equation. One thing we need to find about, uh, one thing we need to find out is we need to find its gradient. Okay, if we know the gradient of a line, okay, it's given the symbol M, so we need to find M, the gradient of line L, and the other thing we need to find is the midpoint. Sorry, what am I talking about? The other thing we need to find is any point on the line, any point on the line. Okay, now why did I say midpoint? Because we know that the line passes through the midpoint of QR, the point M. So we can see that that is a point on the line, capital M. All right. So as long as you know the gradient of a line and we know a point on the line, we can find the equation of the line. All right. So those are the two things we need to find out. Okay. As for the midpoint of the line, well, the midpoint of a line is equal to, let me just write the coordinates here, P, P is minus 5, 8, and Q is 7, 8, and R is minus 1, 2. Okay, so I can see it here. All right, so the midpoint of the line is Okay, it's the midpoint of what? It's the midpoint of QR. So it's the midpoint of QR. So from these two, you have to basically find the average of the X and Y coordinates. So you've got to add the X coordinates together. So you have 7 plus minus 1. 7 plus minus 1 over 2. And you have 8 plus 2 over 2. So that gives us that 6 over 2, which is 3. And 10 over 2, which is 5. So I know the midpoint okay it's 3 5 so I know that the it goes through the point M which is 3 5 next is for us to find the gradient of the line now the gradient of the line L is the same as the gradient of the line that goes through PR because they are parallel parallel lines have the same gradient so the gradient of line L is equal to the gradient of the line through let's make sure through PR the gradient of the line through P, R. So what's the gradient of the line P, R? Well, you've got to change, take the change in the Y over the change in the X. So you have 8 minus 2 over minus 5 minus 5 minus minus 1. That gives you 6 over minus 4, which is minus 3 over 2. So we know that the gradient of the line is equal to minus 3 over 2. And that's now enough information for us to find the equation of the line. Okay, to find the equation of the line, we can use the formula y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1, especially as we want to put it in the form as they asked, ax plus by plus c equals zero, where a, b, and c are integers. Okay, so this is a, a much nicer form to use, especially when you have a fraction as your gradient. So we have y minus, now remember this is the x and this is the y coordinate. So y minus the y coordinate, which is 5, equals m, which is minus 3 over 2, times x minus the x coordinate, which is 3, 
And if we now multiply both sides, if we now multiply both sides by 2, we will then um, get rid of this fraction. So I'll have 2y minus 10 equals, and I'll at the same time multiply this bracket out by minus 3. Okay, so you have, in fact, I'll just do it in, in two steps, just so it's not confusing for you. Okay, so you have 2y minus 10 equals minus 3x plus 9. Okay, plus 9. Okay, so you have um, minus 3 times minus 3 is plus 9. That's right. So now we want it in the form ax plus by plus c equals 0. So let's move everything here to the left. So we've got to add 3x to both sides. So we'll get 3x. The 2y is already here, so that's plus 2y. And you have minus 10 minus 9, which is minus 19, is equal to 0. And there we have the equation of line 1. This is the equation of line. It's not line 1, it's just a line. Okay. So there we have the answer to our first part of the question. Okay, for part B, um, it tells us that the line L cuts PQ at the point N. Okay, so there's a point N. Um, find the coordinates of N and the triangle of the area of the triangle MNQ. Okay, so first of all, the coordinates of N. Okay, now if we look at N, it's along its it's, it's like intersecting, it's a point where the line intersects the line PQ. And P and Q both have um, the Y coordinate as 8. So this line here is a line Y equals 8. Okay, so we know therefore that the Y coordinate of N must be 8. Okay, so we need to find the X coordinate. Well, we can find that because we know that this point satisfies both this equation of this line and this line. So if I put y equals 8 into this equation of line 1, so you have 3x plus 2y minus 19 equals 0. If I put y equals 8 into here, what should come out would be the x value of the point n. So let's do that. You have 3x plus 2 times 8 minus 19 is equal to 0. Okay, so you have 3x plus 16 minus 19 is equal to 0. So 3x minus 3 is equal to 0. So x is equal to, um, well, 3x is equal to 3, so x is equal to 1. x is equal to 1. So therefore, the quantities of n are 1 and 8. Okay, 1, 8. Okay, that looks kind of sensible. Okay, now... Part 2 says, find the area of this triangle MNQ. Now, to find the area of a triangle, okay, we need to know, and we know this, this coordinates are th is 3 and 5. Okay, let me just confirm that. We found the midpoint was 3 and 5, that's right. Okay, so to find the area of a triangle, we need the base times the height. Okay, so we could do this in a couple of ways. One of the ways we can do it is um, the fact that we know that the coordinates of n is 1, 8. So we can work out what the base is. This will be the base. And the vertical height is the difference between the x-coordinate of m and the x-coordinate of... Sorry, the, the um, y-coordinate of m and the y-coordinate of p and q. Okay, this, this, this distance here, this is um, 5 and this is 8. So you can say that the vertical height of this triangle let me just do it with a, a line. You can say the vertical height of this triangle is that height here, which is between 5 and 8, which is 3. And the base of this triangle is between n and q. That would be the, like the, the base of the triangle, which is between 1 and, and this point is 7 which is 6, that's the x coordinates. You've got 1 here and 7 here. Okay, so you can say that the area of the triangle, therefore, you'll have a triangle that looks like this. Okay, this is 6 and this is 3. Okay, so you can say the area is a half times the base times the height, which is a half 
that's going to be 3 times 3 which is 9 units squared and there we have our answer we have n is 1 8 and the area is 9 square units so that's the end of question number 6